I wish I would have filmed the process of putting this thing back together. The one night I was here by myself, I ran the fuel lines and everything, and then Doug was here cleaning up his six speed. That's gonna go in his blah by. And I decided put the engine in, I bolted up the shifter linkage, bolted up the slave cylinder, and then basically set it in place. Trans bolted to the subframe, axles bolted up, this engine mount, both engine mounts are not tightened down yet, they're just sitting there, but trans mount's good, other axle's good, drive shaft is good. I mounted my fuel pressure regulator. That's pretty much where we are at on it. Um, now I gotta connect the power steering shit. I have to put the rad hoses on. I got a coolant reservoir off of the black B5 parts car that I had. I might've talked about this in a different video. I don't remember, but normally on a B5, you have that and that coming out of each frame rail. Somebody made this piece, it basically connects them so there's a thick piece of bar going across them, which the front mount slides right onto and mounts up to. So it's an awesome way to mount your intercooler. The issue was the car that I got it off of didn't have AC, so I had to notch mine right here. Oops. <laughs> so my condenser, the, there's an AC line coming off the condenser that would have hit that. So now it should sit flush. I have to mock that up, which is what I'm about to do. And this video is probably really boring because I'm just rambling on, so I'm going to do shit now. When you can't find something, miscellaneous B5 parts bin, whoops, old power steering pump, and that's exactly what I need. For some reason, I don't have a spare power steering reservoir from my parts car. It probably went when I scrapped the shell. And the one that came on this car, I don't remember doing this, but six months ago, I was probably like, oh, I'm gonna get a nice fancy one like Vince has on his SR. So I threw mine away. I'm 99% sure that's what happened. He has a Chase Bays one, it looks really good, but I just wanna put this car together. I don't want a fucking fancy one right now. So I'm pissed. If I did throw it away, I'm pissed at myself. I can't find it laying around. Not a big deal. They're like 10 bucks, but that'll go over there. And then the thermostat that I got does not fit in the housing. So something's weird about that. I'm going to go to O'Reilly's and get a different one probably tomorrow. Something I noticed that's interesting. This is from an AEB. Probably an ATW is the same, but, um, Older style 18T. This is the new style. The new style has this fancy clip, which I fucking hate. Oh, I don't hate these, but I don't really prefer them. This goes to the thermostat housing, whereas the older style cars are just a hose clamp. I doubt that's interesting to you, but if you're a 18T person, maybe you'll find that useful because I didn't know that. It's just, it's cool seeing. I don't know if it's cool or if it's stupid, all the minor changes they did throughout the years, but that's one of them that I just found. So I threw the older hose onto the newer reservoir. Now I gotta get under there. Slide that on. Should be tight. And this, whenever the thermostat housing is on, That'll clamp onto it. I was standing up here grabbing this bumper. I was filming a clip and I see a mouse on my firewall, like between the fire, between the false firewall and like the real firewall. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm just going to put what I put on my Instagram story in this video, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Okay, how do I evict this guy without harming him? Also trying not to have him eat every fucking wire in my car. Get out, dude. And he ran into the box for the ECU. 
which goes directly into the cabin. Now, my concern is I don't want to kill him morally, of course, I don't want to kill him, but also I don't want to like poison him and then him eat the poison and then he just dies somewhere in my car and then it smells like a fucking dead animal, literally. Really don't know what to do. I don't know if this guy's in here somewhere. I don't know if he has a family. Uh, and it breaks my heart. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to kick you out of here. I think you're a great guy, but I just, I think I could sweeten the pot for you a little bit. I bring you back to Greensburg where I live. I got a yard, you know, there's other animals and stuff and you guys can laugh and chill, you know, hang out on my porch or whatever. Just, I can't have you in here. And I hope, and I, I trust me, I hate, I don't want to break up your, like, bring your family, do whatever. I don't want to break you guys up. Uh, I think you guys are great mice, but it's just right now, I, if this would have been six months ago, I would have told you, hey. Now back to this, before it was notched, so I didn't crush this AC line, I had to run, this is just something that I <laughs> clearly rigged up. I just ran spacers behind here, which I didn't want to do that. Obviously that's not how the car should be. So now that it's notched, that should sit flush. And I'm gonna try to get my bumper mounted with the front mount and, and see how it all works. And then I also cut this plastic out. I bent these AC lines back just a little bit and it should clear. We will find out though. Whenever these are torqued down, it actually pushes the condenser in the rad in enough that it will sit completely flush with the bracket. And I have all this room now. I bent these just enough that the small one wouldn't kink. I think if I bent it anymore, it would kink and ruin my AC lines. But I have plenty of room here now. I can have the guy that's gonna make me intercooler piping come straight off and then I'm gonna relocate this horn. Intercooler piping will run right through there from the turbo. So shit is looking quite good. I'm very, very, very excited. This has been a long time coming to see uh, the car in this stage, which still so much shit to do, but it actually looks like a car again. It feels like I actually have a project car instead of a fucking piece of metal. But yeah, I'm stoked. I started to shave this bracket for the horns because I was going to move it up a bunch. What I realized is, yeah, I could drill new holes and bolt it in there like that. But honestly, <laughs> I can zip tie it right here. It's completely out of the way. There's room for the bumper. I already checked. It doesn't rub on the inside of the bumper. And who cares? It's held on by a fucking zip tie. Like, if this was a show car, obviously that would be unacceptable. The good thing is that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and this, this car's purpose is just to fuck with people on the highway. That's really it. So, uh, zip tied on horn bracket is perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'm just triple checking that this is two and a half. And the other one is two inches for the intercooler piping. If you don't know, this comes off the turbo through the intercooler, which is what cools the compressed air, and then it goes into the throttle body. But obviously right here, not gonna do much with it pointing towards the sky. So I will take this somewhere. They're gonna cut it here and make it made up right there. And on this side, obviously I need a coupler, but there's about a six inch gap that they will extend that pipe. And also going to have them make me a down pipe. And then I might have them just make a little 
wastegate dump as well. That is all I'm going to do this video. The next one will be me trailering it to get the intercooler piping made and the downpipe, and then finishing up some stuff in the bay, probably make the rest of the fuel lines, get the rest of the coolant lines connected, the power steering lines, stuff like that. And then I have to make, I have to come up with a solution for electric fans because I'm not using the clutch fan anymore. So I got to figure that out and then go from there. There's not much. I got to put the harness on once I get it, but the shop that's doing the harness still has it, unfortunately. So that's where we're at.